From the darkness comes the light. That is the name of the South Florida Symphony's final master concert of its 15th anniversary season. Guided by award-winning conductor and Key West native Sabrina Alfonso, this will be a concert that you simply can't miss. The South Florida Symphony president, Jacqueline Lorber, has all the details for us this morning. Jacqueline, thank you for being back on the show. Thanks, Jenna. <laughs> I always look forward to coming here and seeing you. Well, it's always great to see you here on the show and also see you here in Key West, because I know you have to spend a lot of time in Fort Lauderdale. Yes, so. it's amazing. Any given day, I'm in one of four counties, but it's <laughs> always the best when we're here. <laughs> yes. Let's talk about From the Darkness Comes the Light. It sounds like you're going to be ending the master concert season with a, an amazing show. Well, you know, Zul has, um, he started his, um, the, his career with the symphony in the first season. So it's kind of a fitting end to the 15th anniversary season to have him uh, wrap that up. And he and Sabrina go back to conservatory together. So the Elgar Cello Concerto will be a wonderful way to culminate the last concert and we'll part of the concert that night will be Sabrina conducting with the Brahms second and the Rosemonde Overture so it's going to be a beautiful evening. Oh wow so this will be a little reunion then too. Yes <laughs> it is. And you've had the pleasure of hearing him perform in the past so you're a fan? Yes oh my gosh it just it becomes one with the cello and everybody just gets pulled into the stage as though they're part of uh, the symphony. It's really a very powerful experience when you see Zul play and interact with Sabrina. Wow. Now, it's crazy to me to think that this is the final master concert of the season. It seems like just the other day we were talking about one of your first concerts. Are you happy with the success of this year? Oh, this year is kind of like a volcanic uh, activity has just taken place, you know, kind of climbing a mountain and then all of a sudden everything pops and it's just been great. We had the great success with Vienna Boys Choir. We had our children's concert series here in the Keys where our educators worked with over 2,000 children this year mm -hmm. and really uh, seeing them finding out where music comes from from the first time was just an incredible experience for all of us. Everybody was crying, uh, seeing the children learn about the instruments and um, have all the experiences that they did in the classroom come to life on the stage. It was very, very powerful. Good. And now you do have some upcoming concerts, so even after this one. Yes. Okay. So we have music all year long now. Mm -hmm. So we have the Blue Door String Quartet, which is our chamber concert series. And uh, that takes place at the beginning of the season and then at the end of the season. And a little special uh, activity celebrating the 15th anniversary is going to be a party April 2nd at the Westin. And there will be a private performance by Zool and the String Quartet. Oh, good. So everybody who's there gets a little preview then. That's right. Okay, great. It's our gala uh, celebration. There's going to be an auction, and it'll mm -hmm. be a lovely night, and the West End is our sponsor for that. Great. And now are tickets still available for the West End and also the final concert? They sure are, and mm -hmm. they can be purchased through Keys Ticks and uh, also through the Symphony Office. Okay, and now... Would you say your and the website and the website of okay. course always the website <laughs> and all of that information is on the bottom of the screen. Would you say that the 16th season is going to be just as good or even better? I think even better. <laughs> I think even better. Well, we look forward to seeing the schedule. When will that be released to the public? We're about ready. You're about ready. Yeah, right. we have to coordinate the dates in all four venues that we perform in. So we're here at the Tennessee Williams, and then we're in Aventura, and then we're in Broward, and then we're in Del Rey. So um, it's great that uh, some of the people actually, as they're traveling, catch the symphony in a different city, or they tell their friends and neighbors and their family that live up there mm -hmm. about the symphony. So it's really helping build. Uh, a great support base in all four counties. Great. I look forward to seeing this concert. I had the pleasure of going to the Vienna Boys Choir and I mean it's going to be hard to top them <laughs> but I'm sure that he'll be able he'll be able to do it. The interesting thing with Vienna Boys Choir is the way that uh, they were able to showcase their voices and their techniques as mm -hmm. they move through the different, I, all the songs are selected to showcase how their training and education comes alive through mm -hmm. the works that they perform and I, I'm glad that you were there for that. Yeah, they were spectacular. The, the community was very supportive of that event, and it was a big part of our season and our success this year. Great. Jacqueline, thank you for being on this morning. Get your tickets now for the South Florida Symphony Final Master Concert of the Year. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. I hope that you can join me back here tomorrow at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.
It'll be okay.